like, okay, I gotta make sure not to put my guard down. I make sure not to get my guard down. You you done you done hmm you done wa kin mutsunda wakata onna onna ko shaku no kekka kekka permission permission ke 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 ka ke ka ga orita no de. Yasuragi te ni modo ni modo te mo kama umai umai meaning good uh kama umai is uh it, it basically means good i guess it's it's kama it's saying it's like okay. She she would not care. So it's like the it's... isn't my like a colloquial way of saying e e mm, not real. My come is like should be um negative. So she's saying she won't care. Come out is to care about. Ah, uh, she won't mind. Yeah. She won't mind it. Come out my Modotemo, even if I return, she won't mind. Right. Suragi te ni. Modotemo, kamao mai. So then he say, Ona koshaku no ke ka ga oritano de. Oritano de in this context mean that he will lower the permission, he will drop yes. it. Yes. Which is means to give permission, but yes, the Duchess lowers uh, permission. I see. It come down from above. Mm -hmm. The permission came down from above, and therefore, no, there. I can return. The 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 returning to Yasurarite, she will not mind. Right. Ya shiki wa kuzure kakete iru daro ga shakyo taku or saku gyo. Ah, sagyo. Sagyo. Sagyo suru nara asoko ni kagi kagiru. Okay, so here the sentence say regarding to the mansions, Yashiki wa kuzure kakete iru daro ga, um, perhaps or perhaps kakete iru. To kakete iru is to. I would use the word probably rather than perhaps for daro. Because Daro. perhaps is okay. more like more hypothetical, right? Like perhaps she wants to go somewhere. That all is more like she probably wants to go there. Like it's it's a little bit different in um, English. Perhaps it's more like Kamo should and I. should and I. Could be or could or could could not be. Right. Daro is like you making a guess. Right. But that is what they're doing. And what are they doing? The kuz well, kuz he's making a guess about the yashiki. The yashiki is kuzure kakiteiru. This is about the condition the mansion is in. Ah, it's kuzure. So it's running. It, 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 it's 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 crumbling. It's yes, kuzure. it's crumbling. Hi. It's kuzure kakiteiru. Daro. It's, pr it's probably crumble. It's probably in, in, in a bad state, in a crumbling yes. state. Sagyo. Is the production of something? Good guess. It's actually more like labor work, um, some kind of work manufacturing. operation manufacturing. But here it's just work in general, rather than right. manufacturing, especially with the yeah. nada here. 
Sagyo tsurunara. So nara here is the particle for when. Hmm. When it was worked. When nara? The, nara. If, if, if. Yes. Yeah. If there's work. Hi. If will Absolutely. work. If work in future. If there will be work. Hi. Asoko ni kagiru. Over this was there. a little bit of a weird use of kagiru. It literally says that place is the limit, but he's in this context, it's, it's saying that is like the best choice. That is um, the best. So choice. it's like the weird use of kagiru. So nada is a if statement. Do you remember what kind of if statement it is? When do you use nada? You know? So there's tara and then there's nada. Hi. So tara is your conditional if. If A occurred, B occurred. Yeah. Nara is your hypothetical if. Kind of. It, it is hypothetical normally, but there's something very specific about nara. Tara is also hypothetical. There's also eba, um, things like that. Uh, I guess eba is probably a little bit more hypothetical than tara. Um, but um, nara isn't really... The difference between nara and tara and eba and to is less about the hypotheticalness and more about who is doing the action? Hmm. Nada is person specific. It means a specific human being should be doing this action, not human beings in general, not the sun, not the day. It should be the sentence should be having an if statement about people in a very specific person. So here, this nada is probably referring to Bennett and Khan. If I make those people work, kind of. So if work is set to this thing, or if I set work to here, something like that, some kind of person, he's thinking of a human being in his head. Um, Tara and Eba and all those other ones do not have a human element to them. You could be use it to describe a human, but you're not really luring it to a specific human being. So a lot of times nada can work if you add the word you to a sentence, like, or in here, if they. So if they work, then it'll be a good place. So if you're adding the word they to the sentence, some kind of person-specific word, then nada would normally be used, while tada and eba are more like just if and when. Hi. That clarifies it. Thank you, Moni. So here he then... What he's saying here is that if there will be work for those guys. But see, if they work on the house is the context. Yes. It's, it's a little that bit hard, be... but that's our topic. We're talking about I... the house. The house is in bad condition, but if they work, then that place will be great. Is basically what that it will be our limit. That's our... our limit. Then that would be great. That would be great. But that place would be great. That would be our choice, our kagiru. Choice. That is as far as that place can go. <laughs> or as far as our choices go, perhaps. As far as our choice can go. Asoko, referring to the choice. Mm, yeah. A asoko is referring to the yashiki. Uh, that place. That place is the limit. That I'm just place. saying, it's, it's saying like that is our limit there for like our choices. Because he, he's describing here what he's going to do, right? So I should not let my guard down. However, the Duchess, since she gave me permission to be here, I she shouldn't care if I go back to Yasuragite. Yasuragite, that mansion, is in crappy condition right now. Probably. I haven't actually been there yet. However, if I set those guys into working at it, like doing some construction or whatever on Yasuragite, then that place should be our limit that should be our goal basically our i wonder if they have like a better word for it but it's basically it's saying like that's what we want to do you'll be confined in there best for us to be the best plan the only way to do it so, that right. Place, right. Hmm. so it, it's hard because it's very context-based here rather than like the literal limit meaning of kagiru kagiru hi so here then it's say may uh suki suki hi no, no, no. Ashta. 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 Tomorrow. Asta no asa. 
Ichiban ni Shoshaku Shakudo Shakudo no Heyao Ikiwa Ikiharai So Ikiharai Ano Kozo to Veneto ni Ano Kozo to Veneto ni Soji o Sase Sase yo はい、させよう。そう、掃除をするっていうか、掃除をさせる、which then became 掃除をさせよう。させよう。ですですでインパレティブ。I Okay, so soji o sase yo. Soji is to clean up, right, Mommy? Right. How about sase do? What does that mean? Sase is suru. Right. But in the causative. So sase ru. So sase yo. I will cause. Mm -hmm. I will cause. Yeah, you will cause what? I'm going to cause what? I will cause soji. What is soji? You said soji. You knew this. You told me just a second ago. The clean up, right, money? So, so, the clean up. The clean up. So, who would do the cleaning up? Kozo Wouldn't it be I? Before. It's saseru. I order. The subject orders. I will cause. Hi. Cleaning. I, will, I will order the right. kozo and bonetto. That kozo, ano kozo, to, benetto, that kid and benet to do the cleaning. Right. What will he do before that? Before that, he say, Asta no asa, tomorrow morning, ichiban ni, the best mm. shakudo. So, ichiban ni does mean the best, best lead. In this case, it means first thing in the morning. Ah, okay. So first thing in the morning, shakudo no heya o. What will he do with the heya? He will hikiharai. Right. Hikiharao is to vacate, to vacate. drag and, and, and clear out. So he, we will, first thing in the morning, we'll, first thing in the morning, we will we'll vacate the room right. of the the dining, the dining place. We'll vacate from the from the room of the dining place. Um, and I will cause that kid and Bennett to do the cleaning. Perfect. And can you read that dining kitchen in word for me? Shaku do. So you said shaku. It is shoku. It's shoku. It's shoku. Hi. Now here's the word for mansions. Yashiki. Yashiki ni. Here's the word for to fall or to wash. Mm -hmm. Fall. To fall. So it's ochi suita. Razuku. Tara, tara, okay. Zuku is zugu is without, right, Mani? You're thinking about zu, like zuni. This is just sugu. Quickly. Right. Um, mado, majutsushi tachi no dose o sagura neba. So ochi tsuku is a very is one of those um compound words that has a little bit of a weird meaning rather than being a direct meaning because direct would be to fall and attach but ochi tsuku actually means to calm down or to settle in which meaning do you think it's referring to here to settle in or to calm down when we have 
Yashikini. It's to settle in so, so. to the Yashiki ni. Right. Tara meaning when. Right. When this event occurred, when this action right. occurred. Quickly afterward will be sugu. So mm -hmm. immediately or soon after. Majutsushi tachi no dose o sagurareba. Raneba. Dose is state of affairs. Dose o. Now the verb here is saguru. Hi. To search. Hi. To search out. But this search implied that he know already what he's searching Wait. for. Well, uh, yes, kind of. It it imply it the kanji implies object. Funny enough, so it is a funny kanji to have there. Like if you dropped your wife, your your not wife, wallet. Your wallet. Nah. Uh, you would use this kanji to look for it. Versus if you're looking for a building, you would use the other saguru, sagasu, um. Which is this one. I'm guessing it's because of the verb saguru versus sagasu. Sagasu. Because um, that's the sagasu right here is the thing. So saguru specifically, I believe, means to fumble around for, to send your reachers in. Um, so it's not popping up here, but it's like. Oh, to grub for. Yeah. So it's, it's uh -huh. kind of like an idiom right here to grub about the situation. Putting your feelers in, I think, is what we'd more likely to say in English. Mm. Gonna consult the birds. So here, what exactly he's saying? He's saying the right. So Ranuba. This is, this is what you need to focus on. You knew it was Saguru. So that means we got Sagura Nai. Right? Then we have Eba. Right? But it's a little bit old manny with Nuba. But it's Eba. What do you think is going on there? So this neba is attached to the sagura. Right. Saguru. Sagura so I'm guessing this is the contraction of some kind of a negative form. So yes. Ra is the negative. Ranai. Nereba. Nai became... Um, so normally no. it's not kereba. That is what you need to do. So normally this would be sagura... Na ke de ba. Na ke de ba. However, this is old man speech. So na ke de turned into um ne. Well, nu. Ne. <laughs> it's ne. I don't know why we've been saying nu. Uh, it's ne. <laughs> yes. Sagura ne ba. Um, so we're keeping the ne and we're adding the e for eba. Because this is eba. For example, taberu turns into tabereba, or yomu turns into um, yomeba. It's yomeba. Right. So it's eba is a grammatical form. So they just took the n from up here and added e and just ignored the other parts. Niba. So, so he's saying what is this? It's 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 basically a a must construction. It is a must, must construction. It's negative form plus a if then statement. If when. Hi. So he say here that I must search out for the state of the magicians. Hi. Exactly. What exactly are the magicians doing? I gotta send out what my are they doing? Where are they? What, like how far what are, are they doing? So 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 perfect. Um, so yeah, we have Tara here and Nuba because he, like you said, you're correct that Nada is more hypothetical, but specifically, this is person specific. So Tara is less hypothetical, this feels more specific. So Eba is a little bit. Hypothetical. Um, so when is a good way of translating Tara because it's less hypothetical than Eba. Mani, this dose had the feeling of progress, right? What is their their current progress in a way? That's a good way to think about do to move and say for vigorous mm -hmm. progress. Uh, but yeah, development. development. Right. 
state, the current state of affairs. Wakata. So, show, um, kozo. This is kozo. Kozo wa me, 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 Yakuni tachi so ni nai. That the boy as a servant. Toshite meaning as. Meshkai. Soste. Yakuni tachi so ni nai. So ni nai is appear not to be. And yakuni tachi is useful. Right. Boy as a servant does not appear to be useful. Right. Yakai nadaketa. Yakai nadaketa. I don't know where I parsed it. So yakana yakai nadada nadaketa. Yakai na koto. Yakai na koto. What is that, Mani? Well, yakai is a na adjective, I believe. That's why it's popping up like that. Paired and negative. They have the wrong word there, right here. Yakai na adjective. It means a trouble or a burden or bothers bothersome. Bothersome. So yakai na is it's a bothersome, bothersome what? Dakeda. Nothing but trouble. Right. Nothing but trouble. So theoretically, you'd say yakai dakeda, and that would still be um, grammatically correct. Hi, yakai here say yakai na dakeda, kozo no me uh, ashi shoki dai. Oh, this is the uh, cost of breakfast. Yeah. Chou shoku dai. Chou shoku dai. Chou shoku dai dakede. Dakede. Okay, so one is dakeda, the other is dakede. Do you so think these are different words? I'm thinking this is a continuation of the form dakeda. Yes. So he's saying da, this and... Da is da form. De is te form. Te form. So basically one end is... When it ended in da, it ended the sentence. Yes. It's a complete thought. When it ended in de, the sentence is ongoing. Exactly. Because so, dake acts as a noun in Japanese. Because dake, the word only, is a noun. Only. All right. So here then he say the boy, um, the, 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 the cost of breakfast for the boy. Right. Just with the um, cost of breakfast. Just for the cost of breakfast. Just for that alone. It's do kao yon mai mo hataku hame ni natta. Perfect. Okay, so here we have hataku. It's describing the no, verb. Hame. Um, so hame is a noun, but hame ni natta, which is a noun plus a verb, is kind of an idiom. So even though this is a noun being modified, noun being modified hataku, and then we have the verb naru, um, it's it can't really be separated that way just because it is a idiom phrase, as in it doesn't directly translate to Japanese. But how many natta means to be stuck with something unpleasant. So hame meaning unpleasant. Yeah. Become unpleasant. And hataku. So is... What is unpleasant is hataku. The hataku in was unpleasant. So what, what then is hataku money? Hataku has multiple meanings. Um, one meaning is to dust. A different meaning is to like wipe away. For example, we saw right here with um, hikiharai, mean to vacate. So this mm. third meaning kind of is related to that, which means to pay a bill. Because you're wiping away the bill. So I was stuck with paying the bill, wiping away the bill, which... How much was this bill? Do we know? Yon mai. So, four so, pieces of coins. Yeah. And how did he feel about this? Was this a small amount of coins or a lot amount of coins? He feel like it's a lot because yeah. he say more, meaning more. as much as. 
Yeah. Indeed. Indeed. I even had to pay four coins. I just for what? To go as far as four coins. Exactly. Mo, the upper limit. Yeah. I like my dick. Um, to go as far as four coins with just the breakfast, with just the cost of breakfast for the boy, I had to hataku. I have to wipe a hameni natta. Uh, it, it, it was a uh, trouble. Um, you say hame was like uh, trouble, right? No. Mm -hmm. Trouble, trouble. Yeah. It become trouble. To stuck with, to stuck with the, the 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 having to pay. Yes. Stuck with the situation of having to pay. As much as four gold coins, perfect, or four copper coins. Right. Sorry, my screen just did something weird. Ah. Okay. As much as four coins. Right. And now you get to go read this long ass sentence describing what the heck did who the boy ate for four coins. Okay, so here we have Tinami ni. Kozo ga as a show shock. So shock. So shock. So shock. Ni. Ha ra geta. No wa. Um, let me try to translate this part, Mani. So, Chinami ni. Meaning what, money? I forgot this one. By the way. By the way, okay. Tinami ni. The boy, the kozo, he finished off. He harai. He, he, he taira. He taira geta. He finished off the choshaku. He finished off the choshaku. So no the theoretically, it does not say he finished up breakfast. Tairageta, I would assume, takes the particle o. Oh. This particle ni is referring to time. So for breakfast, <laughs> the boy ate up no. This no here is pronoun no, which is what would have been marked by o. Um, but it's not marked by o because it's a pronoun here with a relative clause. Um, the that. thing that he ate up was every single other thing in the sentence. I see. That you have not read yet. Bakata. So here the wa act as an itemization. So he's saying the thing that the boy ate finished Hi. off for breakfast. So he used no as in the same way as mono or in this yes. case. Like yes. the, the, the container. Thing, the, the ones they eat up. The in thing English, that... it's one, but um unlike you said, thing. Uh one is normally talking about human. Here it's object. So mono does work. Mono tends to refer to one thing, like in general. Um, no tends to show up if you're listing that thing in the same sentence. So um, if you said mono here, it's a little bit weird because you're already listing all of the monos. So why would you say the word mono if we already are going to be seeing what all the monos are in two seconds? So you might as well use just no to say filler word of the next thing that's going to be filling in on that. Hi. Right. So here we have muffin, sanko, three muffins, so. bacon, tamago, yonko, bacon, and four eggs, ocha, nibai. Ni hai. Two tea. Milk. Ipai. One milk. Bata. To. Brown. Juice. Ah, uh, sugar. Brown sugar. Butter. Brown sugar. To. Natsu. Iri no kayu. Natsu. 
Iri no kayu. What is that, Moni? Um, nut is nut, and kayu is um porridge. So uh, nut me. porridge. Oatmeal. Rice porridge specifically. Sorry. Oh, it's a rice porridge. Ooh, I eat this. <laughs> but why nuts? Is there nuts in there or no? Yes, there's nuts in this porridge. That's why ah. we have eating right here. What are the nuts, things that were put inside the porridge? Nuts inside of the kayu. And Was the kayu... anything else put in? Oh, yes. Bata, brown sugar, to, nuts, meaning butter, sugar, and nuts. Yeah. Iri no kayu, inside of the rice porridge. Right. And I'm thinking it's my... It's not Enter. just eat or hide it. Hide it. I don't know. Let's check that. Hide no kayu. It it could be either because it might be kind of a set phrase. Hide. <laughs> kayu. I I actually don't know. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It just e it eating no kayu the... sounds right. <laughs> it it flows hiding. off the mouth easily. Huh. Yeah. So I don't know. I check that. <laughs> Hi. We'll chalk it up for um a, appendix so later sweet. on. Um, so next you have Ringo, that's an apple. Yong Yong no ip 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 what? Uh, ip, Iko. 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 One apple. Uh, it seems like this coal counter is counting circular things. They do. It? They kind of yeah. That's a good way to think about it. You have apples, tamago, and ringos counted with it. Ringo and muffins. Mm -hmm. All right. Then he have. This is the word to to become cold, right? Ueta, mm -hmm. or maeta, or mueta. I forgot which. Uh, it's a he. Hieta. Cold. Cold what? Um. Ko you de jagaimo. Ooh, what is you de? Jagaimo is potatoes. It is potatoes. You de is steamed potato, right? Hi. Right. Yep. So hieta was the steamed potato that was cool. It was cool. exactly. Ko I don't get it. Like well, chill. It, right? Well. They so you should... you got you got a boiled potato that is now cold. That is now cold, chilled potato. Uh, like a cold slaw in a way. I guess what they're trying to say is that it's it's a cold piece of food. Yes. Uh, it's not fresh from the oven. And then he have. Nori mo. Nori mo no the thing that's left over, no ki. Chigo. Kichigo is blackberries. Raspberries. Raspberry. No pie. So the pie that had raspberry that was leftovers. So the raspberry pie that was leftovers. Yes. These are the things that are itemized for no wa. Right. Yep. Those are the things that you know what was a pronoun for. Hi. With regard to the thing that he ate up for right. breakfast. Right. And this is where we're going to stop right here. And I'll also continue in five. I seconds. really like that sentence, Moni. Yeah. That is one of the most nice with counters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like you learned so much from that one sentence. Mm -hmm. 